What's up, bro? What are you working on? Oh, just my YouTube video for next week. Okay, cool, cool. Is it gonna be the same lame, boring ass video like usual? What are you talking about, bro? My videos are sick. Yeah, bro. You do the same thing every week. Nothing cool. Alright, bro, bet. I'm gonna go off on my next video, right, bro. bro. You better. I'm gonna hold you to it. You better. I will, bro. Trust me. I'm gonna go right. off. I'm not even lying. Hey guys, what's going on? We're going to be using this Rockler Bluetooth kit and it should do the job pretty well. Little reminder, if you want to keep looking at some of the other products I've done, you can go ahead and check out my Instagram, which is right below there. Um, so we're just going to start off by laying out um, the size that we want and also the shape that we want for a Bluetooth speaker. And we start off by just putting it on the bandsaw so that we can cut it to size so that something slightly more manageable. And then once I get it to the rough shape, I'm going to go ahead and use this sander to get the slight angle that I want on the top. Okay, so now that we've got the angle on the top, we're going to go ahead and use the miter saw to cut the angles on the side, which is perfect for like a short and chunky piece of wood like this. Okay, so in order for the speaker to fit inside of this wood chunk, I'm going to have to do a resaw because I don't have a Forstner bit that is big enough to do the initial face, but I do have a hole saw that works for this, so we're going to go ahead and cut off the face and then use the hole saw and then eventually use a Forstner bit to cut the inside. You guys will see what I mean once we continue with the video. So for a resaw, first you cut both of the edges with the table saw and then you just use the band saw in the middle as you see here. But once you use the bandsaw, there's still some residue left in the middle, so we're simply going to use the planer just to clean that up. And perfect, as you can see, it leaves us a nice clean face. Now we're going to go ahead and do the same thing with the other piece. And here you can see what I mean by just using a hole saw for the front face. When you use this big of a hole saw, you have to make sure that you're on a really low speed. Okay, so here I'm using the Forstner bit on this larger chunk of wood just so that I can dig deep into the wood that way the speaker has somewhere to sit. Again, when you're using this big of a Forstner bit, you have to make sure that you're running a really low speed. And here you can see what it looks like once I've cut out both holes. Then I also want to head into the back, which is where you're going to put the control module for the Bluetooth speaker. And now I'm going to go ahead and cut a channel on the front face, that way the wires for the Bluetooth speaker have somewhere to go, that way that you can wire it through the front and into the back. Okay so here you can see that I taped the front face onto the back edge, that way it all stays at one piece and I'm just drilling four little holes on the front face, that way I can put in some maple plugs. Now here I'm simply using a plug cutter, I'm cutting into some scrap maple which is going to be used for the front face. Here you can see how the plugs will go into it and it will just kind of help everything um, stay together and just in general be easier to glue up once I get to that part. And these right here where you see are some legs that I did for the bottom. Alright, time for the glue up. First I start off by making sure that everything is wired up correctly and then I'm going to go ahead and put on the plugs once I get the glue all nice and spread out. Okay, so now that our glue has dried, we're going to go ahead and take off the clamps and then cut off these little maple plugs and start sanding.
Okay, so now that we got our front face um, sanded down, we're gonna go ahead and plane down the top edge, that way everything is completely flush on the top. All right, so the planer that we've been using hasn't really been doing the job, so I'm kind of looking at some different ones here. Let's see if we can get a better look. Yeah, there we go. So I think I'm gonna get this one. Um, well, let's see what this thing looks like a little closer. Yeah, I mean, that, that thing looks pretty sick. I think I'm just gonna go ahead and get this one. Sweet. This will work perfectly. Okay, so here you can see some chip out on the top when we cut this on the bandsaw. So we're just gonna simply go ahead and use a planer to take all those little splints off. All right, so now we're simply gonna go ahead and hot glue in these speaker faces. That way if I was ever in need to repair any of the wiring or anything like that, I could simply take them out. And then here I'm just gonna simply do a force fit on the back end. That way it's also easier to remove in the future. Okay, so right here I'm going on some little legs that I made. I did these off camera, but they're basically tapered legs and then they just give it a really nice mid-century look. And we're basically done. Here I'm just simply applying a nice finish and then after this part is done, I'm gonna go ahead and cut out a black leather strap for the top. And if you haven't yet, make sure to go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy what you're watching. Um, for the finish that I used, I simply used a, a teak oil and that way I can just simply renew it over time if I have to. Alright, this is the final product. I'm super stoked about the way that it came out. I think that the maple plugs and the little tapered legs really made it come together and overall gives it an awesome look. Also, the sound quality is actually pretty decent on this bad boy. Alright, that was the video. I'll see you guys next week. Um, I'm going to head home here to my apartment, but it's raining outside, so I'm going to throw on a jacket. Alright, see you guys later.